Hello everyone, my name is Jemiah Fulmore. I am a junior psychology major. Um, the title of my presentation is Nurturing Minds and Hearts, my, chi my Child Psychology Journey with Adelphi. That was my site. Um, my site supervisor was Dr. For Jennifer Zykla and my advisor is Dr. For Jennifer Kroll. A lot of Jennifers in my life helping me out here. Um, I want to give you guys an idea about what exactly Adelphi is before I delve into what exactly I did. It's a nonprofit provider. Um, it services more than like 30 counties in PA. Um, some of those services are group homes, detention services, foster and adoptive services, similar to our really innocent mental health programs. I do have an advice lab, but just to say, whenever you apply to a job or internship, look at their value statements and their mission statement. Make sure it aligns with what you are also going for. So our mission statement with Adelphi is offering outcome-based solutions for abused, neglected, delinquent, and other at-risk children and their families through a continuum of treatment and education services that provide a foundation of hope for the future. Like I said, value statements, I'm big on moral integrity, like I'm big on all of that. So their value statements, embrace innovation, pursue excellence, practice stewardship, value people, and be the solution. I'm not gonna get into everything, but like I said, whenever you apply to things, look into that. Um, my internship title and qualifications. My internship site was actually at West Mifflin Middle School, but we have a contract with them. Um, my internship title was Child Psychology Intern. Qualifications, you need to do HIPAA training, um, CPR and first aid certification, background checks and clearances, like she said. You need a clean record if you're gonna be with kids, they wanna make sure that you're trustworthy. So PA criminal background checks, child abuse clearance, ooh, child abuse clearances, national sex offender registry, and mandated reporting. Um, luckily, since I'm like working the admissions office and line ambassadors, I already had a lot of these um, um, qualifications. Um, work details and employer expectations. I put together a daily schedule so you guys can get an idea of how their day runs. So they start at 7.57, they end at 2.52. My day normally ran from 9.30 to 2.30. So during these times, we had group meetings, we had academics, and then just regular group. In community meeting, we're doing icebreakers and team building exercises, open discussions and sharing circles, value and character development, goal setting and reflection. To give you guys an idea, these are at risk youth that are trying to transition from being, they were having a hard time in the regular classroom setting due to like whether it be mental health disorders, trauma. So they were put into this group, get grades four through eight, so we can get them acclimated and be you know, more productive in those settings. So during the academics, there's direct instruction, rather be language, art, science, social studies, math. Um, sometimes it's whole group, small group, or individual settings. There's assessment and progress monitoring. So like while they're going through these classes, some of these kids have IEPs. Some need, a te need testing in a remote location, so we need to provide that if needed. Um, some have sensory issues because they're on the spectrum. So sometimes even simple as tapping a pencil can take them off track. So you need to make sure you're meeting these kids where they're at. Um, then we have group where group projects are like trying to like split up their day so it's not so intense, but we have like fun games, activities, peer support and mentoring, and then social skills training. And there's also on-site um, therapist named Rachel Bridge, who was very influential in my process. So during academics is when kids get these one-on-one -on -one sessions. So like since they're fourth grade, maybe they're going through a fourth grade curriculum. So seventh grader will go leave and have their one-on-one -on -one with the on-site therapist at least once a week. So that's how my daily schedule went. How internship helped me, one-on-one um, -on -one therapy techniques. I observed and learned therapeutic techniques in individual settings, engagement in educational activities. I understood the integration of therapeutic principles into the educational setting, um, leadership and facilita facilitation in group settings. I developed skills in leading and facilitating group activities. I've already worked in daycare, summer camp, summer camp counselor, but in this, um, area you're dealing with some sensitive topics and they have different demographics and they're all at risk youth versus I'm you, when I work in different um, populations there's only a couple so this was unique for me um, crisis intervention and management you gain practice practical skills in handling crisis situations like a kid gets 302 and then you have to ex have to be in class and he's not in class for a couple days and kids are like oh where's this child where's this child a kid comes in with you know self-harm marks you have to learn how to walk, work around those situations. Um, somebody at home, mom is getting abused, but you expect them to learn social studies the next day. So it's just a lot of crisis management. And then my words of wisdom, 
Um, embrace every moment of your internship with an open heart and a curious mind. Don't shy away from challenges. Instead, see them as opportunities for growth and learning. Take initiative, ask questions, and seek guidance wherever needed. Remember that every interaction, every observation, and every experience is a chance to deepen your understanding and refine your skills. So even just my experience at Penn State, I just started coming here. I met Mrs. Stell. She told me about work study. So then I'm like, OK, I end up in admissions. Then in admissions, they're like, oh, you should join Lion Ambassadors. Now I'm in Lion Ambassadors. Then they're like, oh, you should be an RA. Now I'm an RA. Then being an RA, they're like, you work, you're really good for advocating for youth. Your internship should definitely be with kids. Meet Professor Croyle. She's pointing me in the direction. I'm thinking you can only work in a school district or you can only do this. She was opening my eyes. So you never know who you're talking to and what door they're going to open. So take advantage of that. And that's it. Thank you. Well, luckily, both of my parents are in social work. So my dad has worked at Arborly and also worked at a second chance. My mom is the director of the Department of Human Services, the welfare office. So they, I've learned to, within HIPAA violate, like staying within HIPAA, not sh disclosing too much. You also need therapy. Find an outlet. Talk to somebody as well. Um, little things. Get your nails done. Get your lashes done. Have fun. Like, go go out to eat. Like, you still need to enjoy the simple things because you're going to take on so much and you're like, oh, my goodness. But then you also look at it as a blessing. Like, that wasn't my situation. And I'm in a situation where I can bless these children. Not to be religious or anything, but I am religious, so I do. That is also a big thing. So my, my connection with God and praying also keeps me going. So.